Not too far. Yeah, he's not. Maybe a couple hundred yards crow fly or something. Right here because we got a I really thought was thinking I was going to hunt tonight, but <laughs> are you going to? Not in this heat. Well, I knew I wasn't. I don't care. You'd have to be a 130 on camera for I even get my boots on. <laughs> Famous last words. Here we go. Yeah, you're going to hear the last words when I shoot a 190. He did that earlier, Preston. You should have heard him. I wouldn't dare kill that, and I'm thinking, famous last words from Trent, that thing come in there, rutted up. No, uh, we, you eat what you want, yeah, I'm just uh, taking inventory. We're rolling. <laughs> I'm just letting you know. <laughs> Got three bags of ice, when you kill one in the morning, we'll, have to, we'll put ice on it, no problem. Got Jared's big old cooler, we'll bloody it up. <laughs> Well, put it in there. I mean, we got room. We got. I bought two extra bags too. You thinking the same thing? Got that darn ice freezer at the house. It won't even bring none. What do you mean? I told you I didn't have time to do any of that. I just stopped at Walmart to do everything today. Time is money. You ain't got neither one of them. Yeah, last night we didn't get home till two. Went and did trivia. Oh yeah, how'd that go? Did y'all win? We do it at the Mexican restaurant in Villa Rica. There's like a like the American Legion and like. On Tybee somewhere. Mm -hmm. We we go play bingo. Jeff one time won. He won the five hundred dollar like last bingo of the night. Oh, okay. He's won like a hundred bucks one time. He won ten thousand dollars, didn't he? I wish. I've gotten one away a couple times. I ain't never won anything. Here you. Hmm. Are you going to put out corn? Yeah, eventually we are. We got to put that tree stand up. Put out corn. Oh Lord. This that ain't gonna be that big a deal though. Yeah. Everybody's gonna be sweaty and nasty tonight. Preston, cut that camera off and just put it in another angle and turn it on again. <laughs> which, which angle would you like? I brought you uh, 35. You can put them in there on the bed for right now. And then, uh, what else? Right here. Anybody need a toboggan for the weekend? It's going to be chilly. <laughs> no. I'll be wearing this. 85 degrees, I think, tomorrow. 84, 85. I'll just kill one more and I can stay in camp and watch the Georgia. I agree. Georgia I agree. For two hours and 45 Yeah. I just, well, I wasn't used to driving like that. It took a, a long time to me. Well, we got to get the burner out. We got to get the propane tank. We got to get four wheelers. To generate. Is that right? Yes, yeah, perfect. So uh, I'm just going to pull on this and pull right back. Oh, presto. Get it out of the way. There, you don't have to go crazy, crazy. Sound will pull it back, or you can. Uh, there you go. There we go. Camera behind it. Nothing kept that cable the whole time. video of him shooting that buck with a bow. It was pretty cool looking. Other 
piece of... It goes on that other upper piece over there. Oh, okay. I'll I'll do it. Just throw it over there. Yeah, normally this thing here falls off and you have to just kind of stand on it like that, you know? That's perfect, so... I don't know if you want to go ahead and plug it in or not. Yeah. It looks like it's sticky in the bottom. We're good to go. Yeah. I'm not so sure we can make all this in one trip. We got two bags of corn, the tree stand, and me and you. It's gonna be tight, man. Let's see. Uh, we can carry our tree stand, so we'll put another bag right here. We'll put it in the front or the back. Right? Or you can sit on it. You know what? Put it right here. Maybe if Jared can carry the tree stand. I don't know. We'll carry one bag of corn on mine. Maybe we put that bag of corn down first and then that tree stand where it don't skin your seed or something. I mean, it ain't got no sharp edges. I'll put the tree stand up front, but are y'all ready to do that right this no, minute? No, not necessarily right this second, I'm just saying, but for us to be two on there and two bags in the tree stand, it's going to be too much, too right. crowded. You got to stretch out this corn. We got everything piled in here. Yeah, I just kept the bullets in the deal. I'll say that's on the sleeve right here. Yeah, so uh, get that out and we'll get it back out of all that shirt. Yeah, that's right. You said what type of bucket? Just a little basket rack or something? You can't tell. Squat. Here, maybe you can tell with your eyeballs. It's all stretched out. This thing about it, they don't give good quality unless you buy it. What is it? Which one you see? I just showed him what it what it's it It's kind of pal mated. Let's see if I can find it. He hangs picture. out over here on Jared's camera and uh, he gives him every angle he can bash for. <laughs> oh, yeah, look at this. I'll shoot him. Here it is, Preston. Bigfoot? Yeah, he's Mickey Mouse, dude. Ain't nobody shooting See, I don't think it's the same deer. It Trent is. And JD say it is, but. It's Webfoot. Oh, yeah. He's got the same deal on the back, the same little tit, the same deal. He's Webfoot. They analyze them, man. Same it's Webfoot. Webfoot's been coming on his camera for two weeks now. Deer's like, I got a new bug. I was like, it's Webfoot again. <laughs> he looks different right there. I'm telling you, look how thick. Come here and look at this. Right, you if shoot you look him. From that side, look at right there at his G2 and G3. Yeah, he's. he's you can't see that on the other I ones. can. I can't see it either. Oh, of but anyway. you can. <laughs> <Yeah>. Trent can. <laughs> hey. <laughs> Jared, shoot that thing and be like, man, he's a begging. <laughs> He's a Jim Dandy, ain't he? I don't know, maybe you're pressing to just go put out all the corn and every stand and put up in the and change the camera card. I'm gonna I'm gonna sit here and you know get the AC. The propane tank's right underneath, buddy. Oh, yeah, I'm tired of toting that thing back and forth. What's gonna happen? Somebody shoot it? No, you, I didn't even actually know you left it. That's good. I'm fine with it. I'm tired of toting it back and forth. I hear you. Well, That's somebody good. gonna I come know. in here and steal it? Ah. No, I agree. At this point in time, you can keep somebody honest. That's about it. But if somebody wants something, they're gonna take Smile. it. Right? Shoot, we work ourselves to death going back and forth. I hear you. I didn't even realize you left it there. I'm fine with it. Yeah. Oh, God, oh you broke it then. Oh, I broke it. <laughs> 
Yeah. Good thing I built that stainless steel over there. Yeah, well, look at this guy. Get your duct tape out. Yeah, I know. Well, if I ain't mistaken, I brought that table too. I mean, gee whiz, I have to do everything. Well, I hear you. <laughs> no, but I will say this. Jared brought this picnic. Look at here. Look at everybody. Jared brought this picnic table right here. Let's see the smile on his face right there. He's real happy. <laughs> Thing's been here for well, years. This metal table. Actually, I made a mistake. It's 10 years. We're 2013. I don't know why. I know what I was doing. I was doing how long I've been in business. 10 years. 2013 oh, to 2023. Talking? 10 years. What business are you talking about? My business. Uh, I thought you meant hunting. I was like, you've been hunting longer than 14 years. Jared, Jared didn't tell you that his dogs got bit by a cockroach about yeah. two weeks after that. Both of them did. Murray got bit four times. And then no, Reese got, Reese got bit oh, four sorry, times. Reese Murray got, got bit, bit once. once. Murray took the blunt blow of it. His ears about that thick. No, you take me where it's just no. been a drill every day. Eight every eight hours. Reese swelled up in her face too a little bit, didn't she? Yeah, she took three four bites in the face. Oh, or three bites enough. in the face. You got that wood down there behind the They killed another there? one. They killed another one yesterday. Not uh, a copperhead though. An eastern rat snake. A black rat snake. Mm-hmm. Had funky like beigey colors on it though. Beigey? Yeah. Main two constrictors you see around here, just about 99% of the time, will be a black rat snake or a king snake. And yeah. King snakes are black with them yellow cream stripes, and then a black rat snake will have that black with that checkered gray pattern on him. And it can seem, I guess, cream colored, but both of them will uh, squeeze you to death. I gotta find me. Battery. I don't know. Look at this little deal here. They're really doing it, ain't they? It takes two people, two Pollocks, to pull out a four-wheeler right here. Do you believe that? But they're perfect for riding through the woods now. Easy, girl, easy. All right, can you put that up? You just bring you one bag? Now, You're just doing one bag? I'm just doing that for JD. Oh, even though he's not there, I'd save it. I mean, you don't have to. I'm gonna make it where it's good for it next week. That's what Dad's do, buddy. Deer on it, so. uh, we gotta remember to put orange on. Guys. I'm gonna ask you how far to that. I never asked Jody how far did that buck run. He put a good shot on it. About 75 yards total, is what he said. In total, it probably ran 150 yards. Yes. It ran. It ran right up the trail, and then yeah. when it got to the top of the ridge, it turned back. Hey, and he watched it run across the top of the ridge. You don't want to put that bag of corn on the back where it don't skin anything, or you? No, nah, it'll be fine there. I mean, it ain't got any that, sharp edges, but that, that buck was quartering away from him, and he stuck it right there in the mid belly where it shoot right through. Batteries. Say that again. I say, if, yeah, you put a good shot, on that, a good shot on it because that thing, the buck was quartered away. The way it was quartering away so hard, he actually he shot it. Like one bag of this is, was fourteen dollars at the Walmart the other day. Yeah, it's getting ridiculous. I guess you know it's going to be the point where if it all goes back to, uh, dang it, man, are you kidding me? What? This thing ain't loose at all. I mean, uh, it's totally. Oh, there it goes. It act like it was going to lock up or something. I was like, what is going on? Yeah, now we got it. Not catching? What's wrong with it? What kind of lemon you get me, buddy? I see, uh, the truck is unlocked. We'll just put them in the full board because uh, it gives us room. You need to lay it down, lay it down. Like this. Oh, okay. oh, yeah, you're gonna do it like that again. Yeah, yeah. Somebody check your scope, see what it's on. Mine's on four. Yeah, yeah. You'd probably be fine four or five on that stand. You don't need nothing, it's too crazy. Yes, sir. I did. I just got to zip that up.
I don't know if them hats are in the way or just sneak them down there on the bottom on that silver thing right there and just lay them in there and that'd be good. Don't have to be anything special. There you go, shut the doors. Just them singing? Just making, it was just kind of funny where they, uh, they were singing and carrying on. They're real, you know, proud of themselves or whatever. I mean, yeah, that's what I'm saying. I wanted you to listen to it, too. Did you listen to it all? Yeah, what did you different. think about it? They weren't singing about food. No, I mean, yeah, I didn't forget now what they were singing about, but they were funny, wasn't they? Just how they were carrying on. Yeah, but uh, if you go back and listen... Did you see her little dance she did or whatever? Yeah, I, yeah they, weren't telling you, they weren't singing about food. Why? Was it titled about food or something? I can't even remember. They were talking about butter and the biscuits and all that stuff. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, that's right. I forgot now. That was funny. What? No, I thought it was funny because of the way she's carrying on or whatever. Yeah. What do you think about a fire? I mean, I don't know what we're going to do on the fire. It's going to be hot, isn't it? Yeah. We'll see what happens. What did it look like? What took you so long to put out one bag? Why would you do something like that when you... Why would you do that? Well, Jared, you made me a believer in the Carhartts. I have this beige, brown pair, whatever you want to call it, and I have two green pair. Buckskin. Yeah, and uh, this is my heavier-duty pair. You know, I've got two from Tractor Supply and from Academy, but I was going to say, these seem like they're thicker than the greens. I don't know why. These are, these are car hearts with their They're pants. the best hunting pants I've ever worn. But didn't you say it's been your experience over the years they was a lot thicker, now they're making these thinner too? Yeah. Look Everybody's... They're all thin mine are. These are car hearts. Yeah, they're, they're oh, making yeah. them thinner again. Oh, yeah, these are kind of more of a... You but, gotta, yeah. you got to find the rugged for sure. What I'm saying, I guess maybe I didn't know that, but, like, I got two pairs of green, and they seem more softer and like that versus this. you got to find that when you look for them. And they'll hold up forever. But them green pairs I got there, I've washed them so many times now. You know how you wash things and they get smaller and smaller and they'll like to look down. You'd be flying from down there all over. <laughs> Me and Jared got one damn fluid right here. And uh, he didn't get as high as that buzzer, but he got it about as high as the trees. I don't know how he got it. He got it yeah, I had it above the trees. Yeah, anyway, I flew we got down it right here. Way. And but it'd be cool to use it, but about the time you I'm did, always scared, man. It's a it's a damn twelve hundred dollar drone. If you crash it, yeah, <laughs> you're out. It's kind of one of things. Yeah, I don't you, have it insured. <laughs> you go. If, I mean, some in people. The best way to really do drones if you're on open lakes or pasture and you get them up or whatever. But uh, you know, even when you talk about going down these road beds, I don't know that you'd have to be an expert operator to have that thing drive down once these road you, beds. Once you get the hang of it, it's not that bad. I've flown it all over my neighborhood and actually went. Two neighborhoods over, just flying over because I know the way the roads run. Oh, I know what happened that day. By the time you got it up, the battery's going down. Yeah, exactly. But once you figure it all out, then your your money, and you do it all from your phone, your joysticks, and you can go. How far, Me that how far can it fly? Five miles, the one I got. Without losing connection? That's what it says, but I'm scared to death to do it because my luck, I'll get out there a mile and a half, and it just... <laughs> yeah. Oh God. And even when we look at his phone, he I mean it's like if you don't use it you, you lose your memory, but we yeah, only there's phone, so you many couldn't, gadgets on that thing. You couldn't remember how to figure out how to save or capture the photo or do this or save it and uh, there's a million things you can do with this thing. I'm I mean I'll, it's I'll, unreal. I watch a ton of golf on YouTube and all the channels I watch they do are cool little flyovers of each hole they're on. Yeah, that'd be good. Yeah, we make about three patties with that. We got to cut that one steak in half. It's so big. Let's put it in the corner. And then got the grill going, saute stuff, fry some taters. So 
It's so hot, man, we might sleep in camper naked tonight. <laughs> Easy, easy, easy. <laughs> 495 recently, 92 is the highest I've shot recently. Oh, yeah, I got Redmond salt too. I need it, got it over there. You want to put on the meat? Oh, yeah, I'll do it. And we'll do it when we flip it. You don't have to do that. No, no, no. Okay, okay. I'm with you. I'm with you. I thought it was going to be a little screw top. No, it's all right. It'll suck it up. And be going out there. It's all right. It's all good. You can put it on there. It ain't nobody hurt. Yeah, that ain't that ain't actually the one that came in. I just you buy a packet of Redmond salt. And then I was you, expecting to be a screw top, and it wasn't. Yeah, you think you're just gonna have to grind it. Yeah. Two minutes ago, that thing wasn't that hot. No. Well, it'd be good though. You want them where it don't soak the grease up. Things rickety rockety, ain't it? Yeah, it's my I'm on the... completely ready. It's not. Yeah, it's just it just takes its time. It's like I said, the whole time it's just white. That's gonna have to be. I guess we wipe it up with a paper towel. Eventually, it'll be just a grease slick all year on it. Yeah. Throw him in there. Some protein. Mm -hmm. Grease slick. I don't like that. It will to be like a grease slick as hell. We'll just have to when we get done this weekend wipe that up, or it'll just be it, that whole thing will be like a grease slick. Mm. It's hot. It nipped you, didn't it? Mm -hmm. Nipped you in the bone. I'm gonna sear these things real good. Oh, they'll do it too. That thing's hot. Yeah, these things are thick too, and they're frozen. But you know how it is. How we come? I'm gonna sear this up the front, it's patties. We got meat everywhere, buddy. There ain't no room for Jerry's stuff. I'm fine, too. It's fine. That's all this is trash. Now we gotta get a fire mm. going eventually because we got all this trash. Sprinkling them up good. You can go ahead. You're full of me, buddy. You can do me super heavy. Just keep on going. Move it all around however you got to do it. Yeah, I'm going to put it over here. I just threw it on there because there's so much. You put it wherever. There's do mine through there. And then whatever's yours. If you want something, you're welcome to it. Just do it the same way you did the other side, Preston. You also can salt the other side of ours now, Preston. Well, I didn't put the patties. Never mind. Patties or whatever.
that little spatula over there. It's all right, I think. Uh, potatoes been fried. You done with the potato frying already? Yep. Heck yeah. Nice, all good. We're uh, open that up and let's have a look at the meat deal here. I just flipped everything. And we're good. I'm just going to give the viewing audience what we got on here. We got all kinds of meat because we can cook a few leftovers where we can have some lunch tomorrow and stuff. Flip that potato thing. I'll press them. Let's show them the taters. Fried taters. Got a fire going. You're probably going to have to nuke it again with some uh, lighter fluid. That's why if we got the kindling, which we, I don't know why. I mean, it seems like any other time we got limbs laying everywhere. But then you really get ready to get one. There's nothing. Every time. Just work your way all the way around it and hit it at the bottom. I mean, and then it'll get going with the heat eventually. Oh, you see my We're uh, doing some mosquito exterminating right there, that heat. So it's hot. Stuff's falling everywhere. We're going to be eating pretty soon. Let's see what we got over here from this angle, Mr. Jared. Looking pretty good, huh? In case you guys are wondering, we got ribeye steak, chuck steak, uh, chuck roast. We, we cutting the steaks. We got uh, and then some hamburgers, some corn. So we, we'll be all right. is if, if you I get what you're saying you sit down in that stand you see them they come from the top so if you get up there you think they're going to try to even skirt you more since you get no, up there I'm going to get back up on the ridge back towards the corner stake and look down towards the feeder that way because they come out of them pines that's how you'll they come. still though you'll be higher but you'll still be looking to the right seeing them coming yeah yeah you're just you've made that decision you're ready to do that yeah when I mean all the pictures they show them coming out of the pines they're in that bedding area I dip down, I eat, and go back out. Well, the way my stand is, I'm down below it looking up towards the feeder, and you can't pull off a bow shot. My theory was on, on our stand, I told Preston, I, you know, I was talking with Ellis, you know, and he said, that, yeah, I told you how you'll throw a bag of corn out for a whole acre and make it work for mm -hmm. it. Well, we, we did that, and they do, but I told, told Preston that uh, when I was take... hunting them, they would come up and they would be in thick and I'm like, God, if this, I got to think if this happens, I'm not going to be able to clearly see what I want to see. So I told Preston when he comes down, we're going to put it on that road bed to where when they step out, you get a good clear deal. And so that's why my theory was instead of putting it in piles, still scattered on the road bed really I good. I scattered it everywhere up, up here and back 40. And yes, you're correct in everything you just said. But you got to concentrate them if you want to see them on camera. Oh, yeah, you do. I agree and with that. So it's a double-edged sword. So, I mean, it is what it is. You either going to You got to figure out like J.D. did when he shot him. You got to figure out how far you want to shoot. And my thoughts were if you're going to... that's what he did. That's why he didn't put it in the feeder. He stacked it off to the right so he'd have a clear lane and make a shot. And it worked out perfect for him. That's it. We're going to shoot it now. 